So as you can see in that last clip, we uh, threw down some more, some more uh, metal debris just for demonstration purposes of the clean-off system. So the way this system works is there's two hydraulic rams, one on either side, and um, they lift up the magnet, and these two synthetic winch cable loops will pull the stainless steel pan away from the magnet, which will separate the debris from the magnetic field, which by the time everything gets up and uh, separated, it'll be over top of these bins, and everything gets collected in the bins. So I'm gonna get to the other side here so I can signal to the driver, and uh, we'll see it in action. So as you can see, everything's coming up, and uh, eventually these little lines here are gonna catch and pull the pan away. And once the pan gets pulled away, everything on the bottom drops right into the bin. Designed this system uh, to be superior to a, any other uh, commercial truck magnets that are on the market. So the reason this is so important is because when a magnet has a bunch of metal on it, it loses power for every piece that's there. So if you're driving down a highway and you can only do one exit before the magnet's completely covered in uh, metal, it's pretty inefficient because as that magnet gets full, you're going to be losing power. So with this system, you can drive down the highway for a set amount of time until you feel that the uh, magnet's losing a bit of power and then clean the thing off, it'll all empty in the bins. You don't have to get out of the truck, which is a key safety concern for drivers. They don't have to leave the vehicle and sit on the highway and sweep up debris. So you don't have to get out of the truck, you just dump it off into these bins, drop the magnet back down and you can keep going. So this is the last part of the bath and clean off procedure. Once the operator cycles everything and all the debris falls in the bucket, he's just gonna back up a couple feet and then run forward again. So all this is for is to ensure that if anything missed the debris buckets, you're not leaving it on the road, you're gonna pick it up and then it'll hit the bucket next time if it missed.